Hey guys, Tarko Cyclone, uh, Cyclone FPV, and I am working, doing a small video series on the Mobula 6 right now. Uh, so uh, some of y'all asked me to put something together on it, so I said, okay, fine, let's go ahead and get started with that. Um, so the first thing, sorry, I'm trying to, let me just send this thing back just a little bit. It's like right up in my face. There we go. All right, and let's see now if we cannot have everything. Uh, here, I'll do that. That'll make it easier. Okay, um, so what we're going to be doing is we're going to be going over the Mobula 6, what it's got, what it's about, um, and then doing some breakdowns because there's a lot of confusion as to what you need to do to set it up. All right, so let's start with this. First of all, here it is right here, Mobula 6. I'll give you a split screen. Uh, there we go. This is the Free Sky Edition, okay? Uh, if you're using the Fly Sky Edition, then everything's going to be pretty much the same except the firmware uh, that you're going to need to download. So let me show you how that works first. Let's just jump in. Let's just jump into this, okay? Um, first thing is... Let's get started with, uh, we're in beta flight, we've just connected it, and this should be pretty much the default um, uh, firmware that came from the manufacturer. So we're just gonna go ahead and click connect. First thing we're gonna do before we do anything else is let's go down to the CLI, okay? And let's just type the word version. Probably yours is gonna say something like 3.5.7. That's what we've got on here from the manufacturer, and that's what you've got, all right? So let me, let's go ahead and just get set with that first. So if you're running 3.5.7, a few things are gonna be different depending on how you bind because the codes are different. For example, let me just put a question mark here. And you're gonna see right here, if you look right there, uh, let me get you, if you look right here, you're gonna see that if you're binding with uh, uh, FreeSky, then your command is actually gonna be FreeSky underscore bind. But if you update your firmware, then it's gonna change. So if, for example, if you go to 4.2.10, uh, to do this, then your command will be different. So just keep this in mind right now. I have captured the dump file from here and I'm actually, I just did a tutorial on how to get the, um, the uh, uh, old firmware. So I'm gonna actually download all of this for you so that you guys can have a copy if you ever wanna restore it. So let me go to 3.5.7 here and I'm gonna save these for you on the uh, <clears throat> on our page here uh, with this video. So we're looking for the Crazy B F4FR. So let's look online, Crazy B F4FR. Let's see if we can find it here. Uh, C-R-A, here we are. So the F4FS is for Fly Sky and the F O f4 fr for free sky so i'm going to download both of these so i'm going to uh save link as i'm going to save them along with the dump file which i have down here in the beta flight folder that i created beta flight hex files and then i put mobula and then right here i'm going to save this hex file for the original one for this one and i'm going to save this one here save link as and that'll be for you guys with the fly sky so if you want to revert back to the factory settings i've got the dump files already saved and you'll be good to go so let's go ahead and get back here all right now let's go through the ports and everything real quickly all right so we're going to connect uh when you're running the uh if you look here under configuration i'm going to zoom through this a little bit you can always slow the video down uh, a few things you want to notice uh, you are running spi rx this is the built-in uh free sky protocol and it will be spi for the fly sky as well all right so when you have spi you do not have any ports activated for serial rx so do not worry none of these have to be on if you will notice though uart 2 is used for your smart audio that remains no matter what version you're using of, of uh, firmware so that's your ports tab. Configuration tab, let's go over a few things real quickly. Make sure you have your motor direction reversed no matter what firmware you're loading because they do have the props on as the opposite direction of normal. DSHOT 600 is set. They have your idle set at uh, 10. It's a little high. Uh, I don't know if that's the factory. I think the factory was at five, but I can't remember. However, if you don't want the motor to spin, make sure to select this and turn it on. I like the motor spinning when I arm, so I'm fine. Now this to me is high. I'm gonna change mine to seven, just because I prefer seven as the number. Don't spin the motors when armed. I don't want that on, but if you want it on, turn that on, okay? Let's go down here. Uh, everything here is fine. I believe they may have these on. Turn these off. You don't need those. You're not gonna use them. Uh, the 180 is so that you can arm at any angle. I don't know if I agree with that, but uh, that's not how it came. That is how we adjusted it. Um, uh, you know what? You could just leave it. Uh, it doesn't matter. And if you look at the question mark right here, it'll tell you. So setting 80 will effectively disable the check. So basically, uh, if this thing is kind of at a whoppy jaw angle, if you set this to 180, you can still arm it. You do not have to wait for the quad to be level. On a normal drone, I would never do this, but on a small one, I guess, because it's going to crash, I don't care. Um, let's see what else we got. Okay, so we have, we're using this and this, that's fine. Uh, and then I'm not sure what you're gonna have on here, but uh, I wouldn't worry about anything else. You can leave OSD and you can leave dynamic filter and you can leave all these if you want. Just click save and reboot, okay? Now let's get back into this and let's go to our power and battery. 
Uh, that's fine, I'm not gonna worry about it. Fail safe, not gonna worry about. PID tuning, okay, so these are the profiles that they have set up. Uh, and this will change when you do your firmware update. I have flown this with the firmware update and I have been very happy with it. But make note of these values. You can look at this screen here. Um, I will, like I said, I will give you the uh, CLI dump on this. Uh, so anyways, you've got your rate profiles here and they do differ. If you look here, uh, profile number one uh, is iTerm rotation. It has iTerm relax set as well and it has anti-gravity on, okay? Uh, then profile number two, we'll adjust some of these as well. And if you go back and forth and look between the two, you will see that the values here change, okay? And then you can go to profile number two, all right? And then you can go to profile number three, okay? So between one and two, you can see some changes here across the board. And this is gonna correlate to the next part I'm gonna show you under modes. So if you look under modes, you're gonna have your auxiliary one is gonna be your arm. Now I don't like it being here because my, my arm switch is a three position switch. I like mine to be in the middle, so I'm gonna slide my slider to about right here, which means that I'm armed here and armed here. Uh, I do this in reverse. Uh, my angle would not be here, my horizon would not be here. Uh, and so forth, but it doesn't matter. I mean, you do however you wish. Um, air mode, you can have it activated if you like. I'm looking to see if there's anything else that would be normally set. Um, but here's what it will really apply, right? So let's look right here. Under your adjustments, they're telling you that they want to se select the profile, the rate profile, based on where you're at. So for example, if you are in um, angle mode, if you look at your modes, if auxiliary two is in this value here, then they want your rate profile to go to slot one, okay? And then if you're in horizon mode, which is right here, they want you to go to slot two. And if you're in uh, basically acro mode, then they want you to go to slot three. And if you look at your PID settings here, you have rate profile one, profile two, and then you have profile three. And I'm not sure what differences are between one, two, and three, but that is what they've selected. So you can use this when you upgrade your firmware. Again, I know it's a lot to take in right now. It's not a big deal. Even if you didn't do this, the quad will fly fine. And I'll show you my settings down the road when we do the 4.2.10 update. And I flew it just fine. I thought it was great. Okay. <clears throat> so uh, let's just pay attention here. Um, when you're looking at your modes, like for me, I will have um, my arm mode between middle and back. And then you can adjust these how you want. Please understand that this is really up to you more than anything else. But if you change these and you're expecting to use these adjustments, your values here need to change as well, okay? So for example, let me just show you how I do this usually. So for me, my horizon is set here. My angle mode uh, is set here. And my acro mode with air is set here, okay? So, which means that if my auxiliary two is in this position, so what that does though, is it changes the adjustments because this was supposed to be uh, um, angle mode. So now we've put angle mode in the middle, okay? This was supposed to be horizon and horizon is here. And then this is supposed to be acro mode and my acro mode is actually up here, okay? So this is how I have my, this is with the changes I made, this is how it would look. Uh, and I hope that makes sense. Uh, but again, you won't need these or usually won't use these when we upgrade our, our um, firmware. Okay, uh, motors is fine. OSD, you could pick your OSD however you want. This is a lot of junk on here. I don't need any of this. I really just want to have my craft name, uh, which is going to be right here. I don't need my fly mode. Don't care about it. I uh, don't need my RSSI value, throttle position, timer, and I will keep warnings. So I'll put my warnings right here. Okay, um, outside of that, I don't need to know if it's disarmed because I'm quite capable of understanding that. I will put my battery voltage and I will put that in the top corner over here. Okay, and check on your goggles if you're using them and make sure that this is on the screen the way it's supposed to be. I think this might actually jump off of our screen a little bit, so I'm gonna move this up. Uh, and that's pretty much all I'm gonna use. I don't really care about anything else there, so let me click save. All right. So this is my setting that matches how my radio would work, okay? And with that, I'm going to now go to my CLI and I'm going to do a dump file again and I'm going to hit enter. I'm going to highlight all of it go to the hashtag dump line right there, copy, uh, right click, open notepad, and I'm going to paste it right here. 
and I'm going to save this as. So I already have something here. So Free Sky, Fabulous Six, uh, and I'm going to instead of factory, I'm just going to call it Tart. Uh, dump file. There we go. Okay, and I'm going to click save. All right. Now, here's the deal. Once you've done all this, let's. One of our customers had a concern about something. Had a question about something. So I'm going to try to help you with this. Why you would go into BL Heli, you really don't need to, but just because somebody asked me about it, I'm going to go ahead and grab a battery here and show you. First thing is, if you're going to mess with this with BL Heli, which I would recommend you don't, if you're going to, just pay close attention to what we're about to do. So actually, I'm going to, here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to stop the video. You know what? I'll stop the video right here. That's going to be part one. Let me make a note of that because uh, this is just going to go on and on and on. So part one is going to be uh, just the uh, basic, basic uh, beta flight settings, okay, for 3.5.7, all right? So what we're gonna do now is, I'm gonna come back to the next video and we're gonna do at the um, uh, connecting to BL Heli, just, and then we're gonna get that out of the way and then we're gonna go to binding and do all that, okay guys? So I'll see you in just a minute, peace.